एवरीवन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स क्लासेस आई एम सरदीप कौर सिद्धू हियर सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द स्पेस लैटिस अबाउट द क्रिस्टल लैटिस एंड द ट्रांसलेशनल ऑपरेशन एंड ट्रांसलेशनल वेक्टर्स फंडामेंटल ट्रांसलेशनल वेक्टर्स नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द यूनिट सेल टाइप्स ऑफ यूनिट सेल्स primitive unit cell non primitive unit cell clear thing and uh, the three fundamental qualities which are required for a unit cell uh, perfect unit cell that are interfacial angles and crystallographic axes clear thing and uh, lattice uh, constants uh, clear so this we will study in this lecture so first what is a unit cell so what is a unit cell so we have studied in a space lattice that in a, a space lattice or in a crystal lattice or in a lattice that is a array of that is a array of points and that points are called lattice points that points are called lattice points and totality total of all the points that are called a space lattice so uh, what are what is a unit cell if this is a space Uh, any lattice we will draw two dimensional on the board this is a lattice two dimensional lattice here is so this is a lattice now this unit this repeated again and again 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 clear thing so Uh, the arrangement, small arrangement of atoms, small arrangement of atoms, repeated again and again. Clear? Yeah? In uh, repeated again and again. So this repeated pattern is called a uh, this. So we divide the structure into this repeated uh, patterns, and this repeated pattern is called a uh, unit cell. Is called a uh, unit cell. It not may be like this. always it may be of other types also how uh, this may be like this if we complete this structure downwards this may be also of this type clear and this may be of if we draw a crystal structure like this um uh, another uh, crystal lattice like this like this like this this um this this these are the lattice points these are the lattice points so this may be also type of this parallelogram type this may be of parallelogram type this may be of this type only we can take take single point inside this may be of also of this type so these are uh, in two dimension these all are the uh, unit cells because in a lattice uh, the repetition of this portion Here, here of the there is here here is a rectangle of but having these two points are are at the faces of a uh, unit cell. So like this, also like this. So these all are the types of the unit cell. Yeah. So this is a how we can uh, in three dimensional in three three dimensional it may be also of type like this a uh, parallel pipet parallel. pipet or a cube like this in three dimensional case this may be also of this type like this this may be of this type like this this structure again here upward back back of this downwards so many in three dimensional case parallel pipet or a cube like structure so this is also a type of a unit cell in a three dimensional case clear thing so how we will define the unit cell now definition so what is the definition it may be defined as the smallest geometrical figure the smallest geometrical figure which repeats itself which repeats smallest geometrical figure which repeats itself to produce a crystal so this is a unit cell this is a unit cell so repeated patterns repeated patterns repeated repeat entity entities so this is called a unit cell clear ji now unit cell may be permittive permittive unit cell or non permittive unit cell 
इट मे बी परमिटिव यूनिट सेल और नॉन परमिटिव परमिटिव यूनिट सेल सो फर्स्ट परमिटिव यूनिट सेल और नॉन परमिटिव यूनिट सेल परमिटिव यूनिट सेल और नॉन परमिटिव यूनिट सेल एंड व्हाट इज परमिटिव यूनिट सेल इफ द लेटिस पॉइंट्स और वी कैन से एट द ओनली एट द कॉर्नर्स ऑफ अ यूनिट सेल एंड अफेक्टिव नंबर ऑफ लेटिस पॉइंट्स इज वन देन दैट यूनिट सेल इज कॉल्ड परमिटिव यूनिट सेल सो आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन द यूनिट सेल विच हैविंग अफेक्टिव नंबर ऑफ लेटिस पॉइंट्स इज वन एंड द एटम्स और द लेटिस पॉइंट्स ओनली एट द कॉर्नर्स दैट यूनिट सेल इज कॉल्ड द परमिटिव यूनिट सेल क्लियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम ड्रॉइंग अ क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस सॉरी लेटिस टू डिमेंशनल लेटिस लाइक दिस सो इफ एटम्स दिस स्ट्रक्चर दिस दिस इज अ परमिटिव बिकॉज एटम्स आर ओनली एट द लेटिस पॉइंट आर ओनली एट द कॉर्नर्स एंड अफेक्टिव नंबर ऑफ Lattice points is one. How effective number of lattice points is one? Let's see. Uh, so, if we are taking this unit cell, this one for uh, one fourth part is shared by this unit. Uh, the one fourth part of this lattice point is shared by this unit cell. Similarly, one fourth of this is shared by this. One fourth of this lattice point is shared by this unit cell. One fourth of this is shared by this unit cell. Clear? And similarly, so in this unit cell similarly one unit cell is at this point and another unit cell is at this point and another is at this point so many so one fourth is with this uh, this uh, lattice point one fourth with this one fourth with this so if we are taking this as a reference unit cell so one fourth part this one fourth part this one fourth part this one fourth part this so one by four plus one by four Plus one by four plus one by four that is equal to one by four plus one by four plus one by four plus one by four that is equal to one. So effective number of lattice points is one in the permittive unit cell. So the cell which having only one effective lattice point and atoms are only or lattice points are only at the corners. we are saying here lattice points we are taking here the lattice because uh, when bases are putting on a lattice then we can say atoms yeah so this is about the primitive cell now what is uh, then is a non primitive this is a primitive we have done now non primitive what is non primitive unit cell the unit cell which having the points at the corners and also at the faces of a unit cell and effective number of lattice points effective number of lattice points are more than 1 more than 1 for example this is a lattice this is a lattice this are the lattice points and i am taking this as a unit cell i am taking this as a unit cell so in this unit cell atoms are also uh, at the corners and also at the faces so what also maybe also at the center you can say also at the if we are taking another unit cell if that is point is at this points also then this is maybe also non permittive because uh, atom or we can say that is point is also at the center Clear? So this is non-permittive. Now, what is effective number of uh, uh, lattice points? Effective number of lattice points. Now, this see here, one fourth part is shared by this. One fourth part of this lattice point is shared by this unit cell. One fourth of this, one fourth of this, and also of this same here. Another unit cell, 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 like this, like. this like this so uh, half portion is shared by this half portion is shared by this so half portion of this lattice point shared by this unit cell half portion of 
This that is point shared by this unit cell. So total number of effective points are 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1 and half plus half is 1. So effective number of lattice points is 2 here in this case. Same is in the cases. 1, one 4 is this, 1 4 is this, 1 4 is this, 1 4 is this. So 1 plus whole is shared by this. So 1 is this total. So here is also 2. So, effective number of lattice points is more than 1. More than 1. So, that uh, unit cell is called non-permittive unit cell. So, uh, how we will define the non-permittive unit cell? The unit cell which having uh, atoms at the corners of the unit cell and also at the faces of the unit cell and effective number of lattice points is more than 1 is more than 1. Clear thing? So this is about permittive unit cell and non-permittive unit cell. Now is the next very important unit cell that is a Wigner set cell. That is a Wigner set cell. Yes, Wigner set cell. W-I-G-N-E-R Wigner S-E-I-T-Z sets S C E double X cell Wigner says cell. So how it is formed? So take any lattice point. So if this is a lattice point, join this lattice point to nearest uh, neighbor lattice points. So one lattice point is if nearest is here, one is at here, one is at here at same distance, one is at here, one is at here, another is at here, another is at here. These are the nearest neighbors. Clear lattice point. So join, this is a reference lattice point. So join this lattice point to nearest neighbor lattice points. So if I am joining this to this, then again this to this, again this point to this, this is nearest neighbor. Uh, I point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are, these are the nearest neighbors and this is a, our reference lattice point. Now join this 7 to 8, 6 to this reference, 5 to this reference, 4, we have already joined 3, then to 2. Yep. So the, uh, we, jo uh, join, uh, we have joined the nearest neighbors to the reference that is point. Now second step, draw normal or normal planes, normal or normal planes to the at the midpoint of these lines. So at the midpoint, suppose this is the midpoint. So draw normal or normal planes here. And at this point, we join this. So this is normal. Now this is normal to this. This is normal to this. This is at this midpoint of this line. Draw normal. So this is normal. I join uh, at this midpoint of this line. Draw normal. Clear thing. And uh, uh, this, draw normal to this. So this is normal to this and uh, then at last 8, 8 line midpoint of this, draw normal to this. So this is the structure A, this point A, we are taking B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So we have an volume here. So this small volume enclosed is called this small volume A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A. So this is called a Wigner sets cell. Clear? Yeah, this is very important and sometimes asked in examination uh, short, uh, in short answer type question. Clear? Then is the our last topic that is about the Crystallographic axis, crystallographic, we have studied crystallography in the previous uh, lecture, crystallographic axis, then is uh, interfacial angles, then third is permittives or we can say lattice constants, permittives. And all three, these all three, these are called lattice parameters. These are called lattice parameters. 
दीज आर कॉल्ड लैक्टिस पैरामीटर्स सो टू डिस्क्राइब अ यूनिट सेल वी वॉन्ट सिक्स क्वांटिटीज वट आर दैट सिक्स क्वांटिटीज थ्री इंटरफेशियल एंगल्स alpha beta and gamma permittives or also called uh, translational uh, translation vectors sometimes also called also called lattice constants a b and c so to describe a unit cell we want six main qualities a b c alpha beta and gamma so we will define one by one so first crystallographic axis so in three dimensional the unit cell or also called unit cell is also called a fundamental unit also called a lattice pattern another names of a lattice pattern fundamental unit also uh, unit cell clear thing so if in three dimensional the three in three dimensional the unit cell is like a parallelepiped so if this is a cube or a parallelepiped like this i name it a b c d e f clear and these are the x x y and z and this is o clear then in this o x o x o y and o z o x o y and o z these are called crystallographic axes o x o y and o z so how we can define this the the lines crystal crystallographic axis are the lines are the lines which are par lines parallel to parallel to lines of lines of intersection lines of intersection of faces of a faces of a unit cell adjacent faces not only faces adjacent faces adjacent adjacent faces of a unit cell clear yeah. adjacent faces i write here adjacent uh adjacent faces of a unit cell so what are crystallographic axes the line, uh, crystallographic axis are the lines ox oy and oz parallel to the lines of intersection of uh, parallel to the lines of intersection of where faces this face is this face join intersect of a unit cell these are the crystallographic axis then uh, uh, second is interfacial angles interfacial angles second these are the lattice parameters lattice parameters lattice parameters lattice parameter first lattice para meter first apne ko le inter facial angles interfacial angles so interfacial angles like this between x o x and o y alpha this is beta this is gamma so the angles between the crystallographic axis between ox and oy that is alpha between oy and oz that is beta between oz and ox that is gamma so these are the alpha beta and gamma these are the angles between the crystallo two crystallographic axis and these are called interfacial angles then is the permittives also called if they are in vector form also called translational fundamental translational vectors and also called uh, lattice constants so we call them lattice constant so this up to this point if the o to this d this is a o to b this is b then this o to f this is c so this a b and c they are called permittives they are called permittive so unit cell is fully defined completely we can define completely a unit cell with these six quantities that are alpha beta and gamma a b and c clear ji so this is all about the lattice parameter so we have 
studied in this lecture about a unit cell, permitive unit cell, non-permitive unit cell, Wigner's cells and the lattice parameters. Thank you very much.